What's up, YouTube? This is Enzo Rides coming back at you today with another Subaru WRX video. Today, we're going to go ahead and be installing the Noble version 2 rear spoiler. Um, as you guys can see, I have the limited trim. It already comes with the spoiler on the back, but as you know, most of us know, it's not too aggressive. It's also color matched, so it's not too noticeable. I got the ignition red, so I'm going to go ahead and offset the color with the silica black. I believe that's the paint code for it. Um, it's the version 2 noble rear spoiler. It's gonna be it's gonna look pretty good. Give it some some good, you know, some good flavor um, I got it from importimageracing.com. So that's where I get all my parts from if you guys need any parts check out importimageracing.com um, They they got great parts good customer service. I mean they hooked me up pretty much every part right here um, I've already gotten started. It's gonna be pretty easy uh, It's just a couple. It's just uh, some eight millies two eight millies and a couple pop screws will pop that right off um, right after you take out the the little felt liner the little cover and that those are just pop screws you just pop 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 they come right off um, I'm also rocking today my WRX VV cream color pulled it pull over check it out check out the back right here um, it's crispy looks fresh I got it from the homies Instagram page check them out WRX underscore VB. He's selling the gear. He has a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different styles. Check them out. Cop some gear. You know what I'm saying? We gotta we gotta rep the Subi gang. I think this is the uh not a civic, not a civic pullover. And uh you know your boy had a match. I got him going with the uh, Nike SBs, San Francisco Giant High Tops, gotta stay fresh on them, you know what I'm saying? So uh we'll go ahead and get started. Gonna take off this rear spoiler. I'll try to show you guys a little bit how it's going. I'll get the other one mocked up, if not fully installed, and then we'll go ahead and show you how that looks and what a difference it's gonna make. So get a couple before and after fix, all right? All right, check me out a little bit. All right, here's just a little before. This is how it looks before. As you can see, paint matched, not too aggressive, not too much height. Get a little side angle right there. Looks good, but it's nothing too crazy. So we'll get some before and after pics. So this is the before right here. We'll get some pictures as well. Um, I ain't tripping on the license plate because, you know, everybody like, oh, my God, why don't you cover? I ain't tripping, dog. Hey, it's not a big deal. But, um, all right, guys. All right, this is it. Like I said, those two little bolts. I think they're 8 millimeter. I use a 516. So came out perfect. I mean, you know, I'm not going to sit there and search for my 8 millimeter. You know how it goes. 10 millimeter, 8 millimeter, always missing. I'm not digging through it. You know what I'm saying? So, anyways, it worked. Two bolts right here. Boom. Boom. The rest were just pop clips. I just got my finger underneath, pow, pow, lifted it up, out, out, ready to go. There it is. So we'll go ahead and get that uh, that noble one opened up, and we'll check it out. I know that I'm gonna have to apply some type of like uh, adhesive application. It's like an adhesive, uh, I don't want to say amplifier or like you know, it's just like a prep thing. We'll go ahead and install that. Probably wait a little bit, and then we'll get that thing on, see how it looks after. Uh, We'll probably do the vortex generator a little later because I don't have any like good cleaning supplies. I haven't cleaned the car. As you know, SoCal has been raining like crazy for some reason. You know, tsunami weather, I guess, hasn't rained here in years. But we're getting it, so we'll take it. Car's crusty though, so we'll check it out. But let's get this dialed up and see how it looks. All right, guys, this is the piece. Unwrapped the V2 spoiler. Got it all unwrapped. We're gonna take it outside, get it installed. Came with some 3M double-sided tape and some adhesive. What is it? Oh, adhesion promoter. So, and then I think we'll be able to reuse the uh, stock two little bolts right there, the little eight milli. So we'll get that installed. See how it looks. All right, everybody. This is the finished product. Check it out. Doesn't look too shabby. Side profile. Doesn't look half bad. I think it gives the car some flavor. Kind of offsets the look a little bit. Nothing too crazy, but definitely is noticeable. It's kind of dark out here. But sheesh. I think it looks really good. Um, 
maybe later I'll go with a higher duck bill. But for now, I think I think this is good. What y'all think? Go ahead and comment below. Not too shabby. Just enough. Um, so to do this, it's pretty cool because the paint color matches the a little bit. Let's see if I could get the I guess it's like a half ass one, but if you look real close, boom, you can see that crystal. Not as much as that one, but almost there. So it's the same type of black. Um, I use painter's tape to just line me up. I did both sides. I did the bottom. I did the top. Just to give me a little. And I still feel like I didn't line it up all the way correctly, but it is what it is. It worked. A um, couple gripes with this spoiler, though. So on all the install videos that I've seen, and then the import image racing install video, it came with hardware. Now, when I checked this out, I didn't, you know, I can't remember. I'm gonna double check though once I get inside. I don't remember if it gave you the option to add the hardware or not, but I did not get hardware. So that's that's one gripe. Um, so there should be at least two bolts to hold it. Plus there was some felt washers that they gave. So there was no you know, rain leakage and stuff, it kind of helped that. I didn't get that. So I got to double check. And another gripe is it looks nice, but on the inside, oh, I already put the felt liner back. I should have took it off before. Um, The two holes that bolt up, the mounting bolts, I guess, they don't line up. So even when I mocked it up and I try to use, I try to use the OEM hardware, but the bolts that is, the OEM bolts are too small for whatever, you know, whatever uh, nut they have on theirs. So it didn't fit. I did have some bolts laying around that did fit. However, they're just too long and I'm not trying to cut them down or nothing like that right now. It's too late. I'm gonna email them, see if they can send me some hardware. Um, so for now, I'm only running one long bolt with the washer. So, you know, so at least peace of mind if I'm on the freeway or something, it doesn't fly off. Uh, the adhesive promoter that they gave me says that it cures completely and about let me check it says 60 seconds to go ahead after application but total cure cure mint recommended drying time is 10 minutes to three hours under standard conditions so i mean obviously this thing's going to cure overnight i'm not driving anywhere um let's see i mean it's that's that's on there that's with some force i mean i'm not using all my might but I feel like this side flexes. Uh, yeah, I feel like this side flexes a little more than that one. Uh, underneath, it feels pretty flesh, but it does feel even more flesh on this side compared to this side. So you can see I should have put some 3M. You can see where the 3M goes on this side. Same thing. You can see it's lifted a little bit. But I mean, other than that, so again, hardware wasn't supplied with it. And the bolt holes that are drilled into this, pre-drilled, do not line up with the OEM trunk bolt trunk holes. So that is my only gripe. Also, I didn't get the felt washers to weatherproof it. So what I did was I just used some of this 3M tape that they provided. And on the two inside bolts or two holes, I just went and put ahead and put some. And then I took off the adhesive backing so it helps stick. And then on the inside ones, or the far outside bolt holes, what I did on the inside was I put some of that adhesive promoter. And then on the inside of the trunk, I actually put a little roll, a little line of uh, some 3M. So at least if it rains, hopefully that helps weatherproof it, you know, again. Um, this is my only gripe for the amount of money, you know what I'm saying, that this costs. Uh, I, I believe it should come with proper hardware necessary to install it. I didn't get it. So, again, I'm going to email them tomorrow. Uh, their customer service is great, so guaranteed they're going to just send me out some bolts with the proper hardware. And then I'm just going to go ahead and let this chill until, you know, I have any issues. I'll keep the hardware on deck. I'm not going to mess with it. I might just take out that long screw and put the proper screw in that's needed.
But the other side, I mean, as long as one bolt's in there, it's secure, I'm good. So highway speeds, anything comes off, at least I know that bolt's going to secure it. I kept all the original OEM spoiler and stuff too right here. Just in case anything happens, I'll just swap it out. Not a big deal. But I mean, it looks great. Gives the car a lot of character. I think it looks dope, so. But all right, YouTube. You know, if you like this type of content, like, subscribe. Comment below what you guys think. You know, what you would have done differently. Um, are there any other options you guys are going for? I know that there are. Uh, I know Aeroflow Dynamics has a pretty good one that's going to come out. I think uh, there's another dude on this platform running it, Joey Montalto. I think I, I said it right. I'm not too sure. Um, he's running a duckbill spoiler. Theirs, and it looks really good. It's really high. I like that. Uh, maybe if they release a, a carbon fiber one, I'll go with that in the future, or I'll just pick up another black one. I did go ahead and get the black emblems as well. So I'll probably just go ahead and see if I can't do that as well that'd be nice but uh all right guys thanks for watching catch you on the next one